China Radio International is a state-owned international radio broadcaster of the People's Republic of China. It is currently headquartered in Babashan area of Beijing's Shijingshan district. It was founded on December 3, 1941, as Radio Peking. It later adopted the pinyin form Radio Beijing. Cree also publishes online dailies called Beijing News and Beijing International. It has 32 overseas correspondent bureaus and six main regional bureaus, and broadcasts over 2,700 hours of programming each day, 24 hours in English, including news, current affairs, and features on politics, the economy, culture, science, and technology. Its overseas reporting involves 65 languages. More than 50 shortwave transmitters are used to cover most of the world, it is broadcast via the Internet and numerous satellites, and its programs are rebroadcast by many local FM and AM radio stations worldwide. Cree states that it "...endeavors to promote favorable relations between the PRC and the world," but upholds the PRC's official policies, including on controversial issues such as the political status of Taiwan and the Dalai Lama. As with other nations' external broadcasters such as Voice of America, BBC World Service and Radio Australia, Cree claims to play a significant role in the PRC's soft power strategy and going out policy, aiming to expand the influence of Chinese culture and media in a global stage. It is trying to employ new media to compete with other international media. Unlike those broadcasters, CRI's control via indirect majority ownership or financial support of radio stations in various nations is not published. China Radio International have been merged to create the China Media Group after the first session of the 13th National People's Congress in March 2018. Topic: History Radio was first introduced in China in the 1920s and 1930s. However, few households had radio receivers. A few cities had commercial stations. Most usage of radio was for political purpose, frequently on a local area level. The Chinese Communist Party first used radio in Yan'an Shaanxi Province in March 1940 with a transmitter imported from Moscow. Xinhua New Chinese Radio XNCR went on the air from Yan'an on December 30, 1940. XNCR transmitted to a larger geographical area after 1945, and its programs became more regular and formalized with broadcasts of news, official announcements, war bulletins, and art and literary programs. The English service started on September 11, 1947, transmitting as XNCR from a cave in Shaha in the Taihong Mountains, when China was in the midst of a civil war, to announce newly conquered areas and broadcast a Chinese political and cultural perspective to the world at large. The station moved from the Taihong Mountains to the capital, Peking, when the People's Republic of China was formed in 1949. Its name was changed to Radio Peking on April 10, 1950 and to Radio Beijing in 1983. On January 1, 1993 the name of the station was again changed, this time to China Radio International, in order to avoid any confusion with local Beijing radio broadcasting. Its online broadcasting platform, China International Broadcasting Network (CIBN), was formally established in 2011 as a joint venture of China Radio International, Huawen Media Investment, Jinjiangyuan, Youku, Oriental Times Media, and Sunning Holdings Group. Topic: <laughs> Shortwave International Broadcasting. Cree broadcasts via shortwave radio, satellite and the Internet in English and numerous other languages see below. There are also numerous AM and FM relays. Shortwave broadcasts in English are targeted at North America, South America the Caribbean, Europe, Africa, Asia and the South Pacific. Cree maintains direct shortwave broadcasts to developed, media-rich countries in North America and Europe, even as major Western broadcasters such as BBC World Service, Voice of America and Radio Netherlands reduce or discontinue such broadcasts. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programming. Topic: <laughs> Mandarin Channel 
At the beginning of 1984, it started to broadcast home service to the Beijing area on AM and FM frequencies. The service later expanded to dozens of major cities across the PRC, providing listeners inside the PRC with timely news and reports, music, weather, English and Chinese learning skills, as well as other services. Topic: Cree News Radio 90.5 FM Cree News Radio was established on 28 September 2005, which takes advantage of CRI's journalists from all around the world and report international and partially domestic news, sport, entertainment and lifestyle programs for domestic listeners in Mandarin Chinese. Its aim is to make Cree News Radio a first-class national news radio brand and its slogans are First News, News First, On the Spot China, Live World, etc. Cree News Radio can be heard online and in Beijing on the radio on 90.5 FM, in Tianjin 90.6 FM, in Chongqing 91.7 FM, in Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau 107.1 FM, in Shandong 89.8 FM, in Anhui 90.1 FM. Popular shows Lao Wai's Viewpoint Chinese, Lao Wai Kan Dian Pinyin, Lao Wai Kan Dian International news program with three hosts from different countries, frequent hosts include, Peter Yu Chinese, Julian Godfroy French, Elise Ribbons American, Li Xin Chinese, Su Jin Zhao Korean Biangzo Biankan Chinese, Bian Zhou Bian Kan travel show taking the listener to a new location with each episode New Wealth Times Chinese, Xin Kai Fu Shi Dai Pinyin, Xin Kai Fu Shi Dai Financial Talk Show Topic. Chinese Podcasts The following programs can be heard on the Mandarin version of the podcast from the World Radio Network News Chinese, Xin Wen Gmu Pinyin, Xin Wen Gmu, which comes from the Xinhua News Agency Tangrenjie Chinese Tangrenjie English translation Chinatown a program about overseas chinese outside china weather forecasts around china sports this broadcast was originally targeted at london in the united kingdom in 2006 they removed the london reference which was part of the introduction as ni hao london hello london topic English Channel Topic Cree in English 91.5 FM 846 AM 1008 AM The Cree English channels that can be heard online are China Plus Radio 846 AM in Beijing EZFM also known as EZFM 91.5 FM in Beijing 24H all day 87.9 FM in Shanghai Shanghai edition 24H all day 98.5 FM in Lanzhou Round the clock internet only Language Studio 1008 AM in Beijing a 1 hour program that teaches English for someone who only knows Mandarin not to be confused with Chinese Studio the program sounds like a kindergarten English lesson in the USA using very simple sentences e.g. Mary goes to the bank. Cree 91.9 FM Kenya 91.9 FM Chinese Studio is a five-minute segment that follows most Cree English programs. China Drive is an English radio show about life in the PRC. Cree Sri Lanka FM 97. 9 in Sri Lanka in Sinhala and English 5 o'clock. 0 hundred Sri Lanka time. Topic: English podcasts. Cree offers a list of podcast programs in English. Hourly news. The Beijing Hour. Roundtable. Studio Plus. Today. Chinese Studio. More to read. Topic. Holiday broadcasts During major Chinese holidays dubbed Golden Week, such as Chinese New Year, May Day, and Mid-Autumn Festival, China Radio International typically broadcasts special programs such as 
Growing up in China during the May Day holiday, most of these programs are not typical of the broadcast during the other parts of the year. The analogy is similar to Christmas music broadcasts in the United States. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Olympic Radio. In July 2006, Cree launched a new radio station called Cree Olympic Radio at 900 AM in Beijing. This special broadcast was done in Mandarin, Korean, English, Russian, French, Spanish, Arabic, Japanese and German 24 hours a day. This service was terminated in late 2008 after the Beijing Olympics and now the frequency 900 AM is occupied by Cree News Radio which only covers Beijing. Languages <laughs> 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 China Radio International broadcasts in the following languages The Tibetan, Uyghur and Kazakh services are broadcast in association with local radio stations Tibet People's Broadcasting Station and Xinjiang People's Broadcasting Station. <laughs> <laughs> Joint ventures China International Broadcasting Network China International Broadcasting Network CIBN, traded as Chinese, Guo Guang Dong Fang Wang Luo Beijing Yuxian Gong Si and Internet TV, was a joint venture of China Radio International with other companies. The company was owned by Global Broadcasting Media Group Chinese, Guo Guang Huan Chu Chuan Mei Kong Gu Yu Xian Gong Si a joint venture 50 to 50 of China Radio International and Chinese, Jin Zheng Yuan Lian He Tu Zi Kong Gu Yu Xian Gong Si literally Jin Zheng Yuan Union Investment Holding for 34.0004% stake, Huawen Media Investment for 30. 9,996% stake, a subsidiary Chinese, Gui Lin Dong Fang Shi Dai Tu Zi Yu Xian Gong Si of listed company Oriental Times Media Chinese, Dong Fang Shi Dai Wang Luo Chuan Mei Gu Fen Yu Xian Gong Si for 15% stake, the operator of Yoku Chinese, He Yi Xin Shi Ji Shu Beijing Yu Xian Gong Si for 10% stake and Sunning Holdings Group, the parent company of PPTV for 10% stake.